Hello, I am Neeraj. Today I will try to explain the concept of latent self attention. Latent self attention are very useful these days when your large language models are trying to handle very huge amount of data. To understand the main benefit of latent self attention, we can just compare it with the traditional self attention. Suppose we are taking the traditional self attention. and we have total n tokens in the documents then in the calculation process we will calculate the attention by using every pair of the tokens in that case the total cost of calculation of attention will be o n square but suppose your total number of token length is 10k or more than 10k in that case this process will be too slow so we try to either use sparse attention or anything but latent attention has a some different role because it is not just a single type of attention it is a combination of here you can see that cross attention and self attention so the first part of the latent self attention is to identify the latent vector from the document so what is the latent vector suppose you have a document having n tokens suppose n is very big in greater than 10k or suppose 1 1 million 2 million or something so in that case suppose we are able to extract a k number of tokens these k tokens are actually representative or summary of those n tokens or theme of the entire thing which is written in this by using n tokens is represented by k tokens so when we calculate the attention then uh, then our total time complexity of calculations will be low now how it will be low so let us try to understand so once you identify the theme or latent vector which is actually theme or summary of the document we use this as a query part and apply cross attention i have already prepared a cross attention tutorial so you can watch like how we can calculate the cross attention so in this case this latent part will come for cross attentions and the entire tokens all tokens of the document will go for e and value part of the document so in this case i have just explained the entire concept by considering a very small part small text having just four tokens as a key and value and two tokens z1 and z2 as a latent vector that is represented for represented as query also and after that by taking the query key and value we calculate the cross attention so here you can see that this is the cross attention value now the cross attention vectors that is calculated here actually a very good representation of the theme of the documents that can be utilized for any type of task like classification regression summarization question answer anything but still we have some issues because all two for example here we have just used two uh, latent vectors so these two vectors we didn't check their interactions till here so to check that how they are interacted or interacting with each other we apply an another layer of attention that is called self attention so that part it means uh, time complexity will be o k square and this part the time complexity will be o k n and final time complexity will be equivalent to o k n because k square is too small we are considering that k is too small uh, just uh, 
So in the case of latent attention, what we got first, we calculate the latent vectors from the tokens, set of tokens, calculate the importance or attention score, context vector scores for those latents, and after that, to get the interaction between the latent vectors, we again calculate the self attention. So that is code that is called Z1 double dash and Z2 double dash will actually go for all kind of tasks like classification, regression or uh, question answering, summarization, you can use it for any task. So this is the process. So we are just considering the single head to explain the process. Now after that, just by applying the parallel things, you can do the multi-head attention also. So like uh, I discussed here, because uh, in the transformer architecture, we go for multi-head attention. So once you understand the single, the single head, well, how the system is working, it is very easy to get the parallel additions of multi-head attention architecture. So some other I have collected some other informations like a complexity that we already discussed and other parts are input coverage. So here in Valinar self attention we are covering the full token pairwise and manners. But here we take the input summarized versus latent via latent factor. Means uh, we just summarize the input and consider it as a latent already discussed this part. Use cases small to medium input and very long sequences we use the latent cell potential. So fine gain representation here uh, we may face some issues because in the case of vanilla cell potential it will be very good and uh, in the case of uh, latent cell potential it will be medium because if you have a document having very long size very huge number of tokens and if you take your latent vector size very small then if, in that case you will miss a lot of information so you have to maintain a balance another uh, example some examples like bird gpt use vanilla cell potential and some other uh, architectures we use the latent cell potential so these are some differences. Now I will uh, try to explain how to calculate the latent cell potential. So in that case, all the calculation and uh, attention based calculation stages, it is very easy. I have already discussed it in the multiple previous tutorials. So I will now just explain that I have an input with just four tokens, like weather is very hot. So, and uh, each of those uh, tokens are just uh, extended by two embedding vectors, embedding vectors of size 2. So here you can see that embedding vectors are there. And after that, I have just considered two latent vectors, latent 1 and latent 2. I just randomly put some number for latent vectors. Now let us start the first part. So as I discussed earlier, the first part of the calculation is cross attention. So our query will come from latent size. So from latent side. So the shape will be 2 into 2 because this is our latent part and size is just 2 into 2. And key and value part will come from x. So here it is coming. So it is size like 4 into 2 and 4 into 2 because embedding size is 2. Now the part is to calculate the dot product of query and key transpose. So, so for the first latent part where the value is 0 0.5 and 0 0.5, we can calculate the dot product 0 0.5, 0 0.5 dot. Uh, this is the first value. So, first value here, second value here, second value here, third value here, and fourth value here. So, we calculated this. And after that, our uh, module size is just 2. So we take the root 2 and divide it because our dimension t is 2. Then we got this score. And after that, we will calculate the softmax score and calculate the final value. 
so this is our latent two. We will calculate the same process for latent two, and uh, finally by combining, we got the final latent vector after cross attentions. These are our scores. And as I clearly said, if we use this score for any kind of applications, it will give a good uh, understanding in the form of latent vector. For a given to documents or given text, for example, here our given text is like weather is very hot. So this latent will have a good understanding of these four things. But these latent vectors will not have mutual understanding or mutual attention, like how relatively they are important with each other. For that, we have to calculate the self attention score. So self attention cal score calculation is again I think uh, it is uh, discussed multiple times. So in that case, our query key value both sides will be same because we are using just uh, latent vectors to calculate the self attention. And after that calculation of self attention score is too easy, we have to compute the query dot key transpose that will be a two into two matrix and then. Similarly, if you calculate the dot product, then you will get this value. Similarly, for 0, 1, 4, 1, 0, 1, 1, for all matrix you can get. And after that, you can divide all the data by root 2 because this is our modularity. And, and finally, we get this score. Now, to get the final attention score, we apply the row wise softmix generations for row 1 and then for row 2 because we have two rows first and second because we have two latent vectors and after that we get this as a score and another thing is like this is a symmetric kind of vector so we will get the same score for next part also and finally we get the latent self attention like z double dash. So this is latent one defined, latent two defined. So this is the process to calculate the latent self attention. And once you calculate on a single head, you can easily parallelize it for multiple heads also. So why self attention after cross attention? You may ask this question. Actually, I think I already answered, but let us go through these points also. Actually, communications among the latent tokens are also very important. It removes the redundancy, fills the context gaps because these two latents you already extracted, and if you don't calculate the self attention among them, then you will have some concept gaps. Uh, and the second part is like it improves the generalization because uh, it allows the interactions between learned summaries. Because your latent vectors are just like a summary or general representations of things. It avoids the bottleneck also. If latents don't talk, they act as independent pipeline, which is suboptimal. Means uh, you may not get the clear picture of the entire scenario. So these are the uh, key things uh, behind the latent self attention. So I hope that you are able to understand this latent self attention. So thanks for watching.